Today, I'm gonna to be telling you guys how to make millions of dollars every day in GTA 5 Online. This is taking supplies that you have to purchase into account, the time you spend every single day for every single mission that you do in game. Every single variable is accounted for in what I'm gonna be telling you guys today. So I hope it does help you guys out so you can make a ton of money in GTA 5. Before we get it started, be sure to check out Digazani if you guys need any money in GTA 5 and you don't want to grind for it. You can get millions of dollars for great prices. Be sure to check them out down below in the description and get 10% off your order by using code Frolix. With that said, I hope you enjoy and let's get it started. So pretty much to do this, all you're going to need is a bunker and a special cargo warehouse. That's really all you're going to need in order for you guys to actually make a pretty decent amount of money every single day. So we're going to start off with the bunker. And like I said at the start of this video, we're taking supplies and every single dime you spend into account in this scenario. First thing you guys want to do is head on over to your bunker and buy $75,000 worth of supplies. It'll take two and a half hours around that time to actually use up all of the supplies to create some stock for you. After the two and a half hours, once the supplies is gone, you're going to want to buy more supplies and once you do you're going to want to sell the current stock that you have now if you do this you're guaranteed to only have to use one vehicle the best part about the bunker is it doesn't matter how much stock you have no matter what you're going to make the same amount of money if you decide to sell a hundred thousand dollars at once or you decide to sell seven hundred thousand dollars at once you'll still make the same amount of money and always sell it to the furthest away so if you're furthest away from blaine county and that gives you the most money sell it to blaine county most of the time though it's going to be los santos so sell your stock to los santos if you have an upgraded bunker you guys are going to make 250k by selling it to somewhere far like los santos and if you don't then you'll make about 150k now don't forget supplies have to come into account here so that's about 75k that you spent so the total profit you'll walk away with from selling that stuff from the bunker is about 75k if you don't have upgrades and 175k if you do have upgrades you guys are going to want to repeat this every two and a half hours if you guys have an upgraded bunker and if you don't have an upgraded bunker then rinse and repeat this every three hours it's very smart to upgrade your bunker as fast as possible so you guys can make the most amount of money step two and pretty much the final step is going to be doing special cargo so during the time that you guys are waiting for your bunker stock to be produced fill up your cargo warehouse you guys can buy one crate at a time to maximize profit or you guys can buy three crates at once to minimize the time you have to spend actually sourcing these crates. The difference between buying one crate at a time opposed to buying three crates at a time is buying one crate at a time is about $2,000 each crate. If you buy three crates at once, it's roughly about $6,000 per crate, which is $4,000 more expensive. If you're wondering on how much you actually save by filling up an entire large cargo warehouse, well, buying one crate at once totals out to about $222,000 you spend on the crates. But if you buy three crates at a time, you're gonna spend $666,000 just buying crates. That's either a savings of 444,000 or a loss of 444,000 every single time you guys actually fill your warehouse. And that will add up to a lot of money in the end. But don't forget, buying three crates at once is a huge time saver. You guys will be able to blow through it a lot faster than doing one crate at a time. So it's really up to you. But for this scenario, we're gonna take buying three crates into account for this. And that's what we're gonna use to make millions every day. So each special cargo mission will most likely take you between five to 10 minutes to complete if you know what you're doing. If not, then it might take a little bit longer. If you were to just do special cargo for the full amount of time, the two and a half hours or three hours that you guys are waiting for your bunker to actually create all of this stock, you'll be able to complete roughly around 17 missions and that's with the cooldown time taken into consideration. So if you add that up, three crates, 17 missions, that's about 51 crates that you'll get, which you could sell for about $918,000 all at once in a bulk order. Now, of course, you can also sell it solo and guarantee yourself one vehicle every time and split that up into nine crates at a time. So 51 crates, and that means nine crates at once, you're only gonna make about $711,000 off of those 51 crates. So that's a loss for you of another $200,000. So in total, if you guys decided to actually buy three crates at once, and you guys did it solo instead, you guys are going to be spending an absolute fortune on supplies and you guys are going to be losing even more money because you're selling it solo instead of selling it in a bulk order, which of course will make you the most amount of money. And don't forget, doing all of these sell missions individually will also take a little bit of time. So in order, this is what you're probably going to want to do. Resupply your bunker, then source cargo for two and a half hours. Sell bunker stock and then resupply it. 
then you sell your cargo stock at nine at a time until your entire warehouse is empty. And then once it is empty, you're most likely gonna have a bit of time on your hands. So start sourcing some more crates to start filling up your warehouse until that two hour and 30 minute or three hour timer is up when your bunker is actually finished with its supplies. So then you can buy more and sell your bunker stock. Now, of course, you guys could steal supplies for your bunker as well, and you could also buy one crate at a time in your cargo warehouse, but that will take a lot of time, maybe even double the amount of time you would spend doing this other method I'm telling you. But if you guys wanted to, you could save a grand total of about $350,000 from your bunker and about $440,000 from special cargo buying one crate at a time instead of three. So the total you'll save is roughly $795,000. But then think of it this way. Like I said, it'll probably take you about double the time to do that because there's a lot more stuff that you're going to have to do. So think of it this way. With a crew, it could take you about 30 minutes to actually get all of the supplies into your bunker. If you're doing it solo though, it could take you 45 minutes up to an hour. So in that one hour time period, if you think you can make $75,000 or more in GTA 5, then it's worth it to just buy supplies because then you guys are just wasting your time. And what happens if you fail one of the supply missions? There goes a bunch of time on your hands and you could have just made a lot more money by just buying supplies and just going and sourcing crates after that. So now let's finally talk about profit. And this is pure profit after the time you spend and the supplies that you have to purchase for your bunker and your special cargo warehouse. Let's talk about how much money you guys could actually look at making each day. And honestly, I don't think a lot of you guys are going to be too excited. And I am going to be telling you guys what you can make solo up to what you can make with a full crew. So in about two and a half hours to three and a half hours. Now the reason why I'm saying three and a half hours is because if you guys are going to be doing it solo, doing nine crates at once is going to take you a little while to sell. So that's why I put the time up to three and a half hours. So in the two and a half to three and a half hours time period, you guys could expect to make between 75 to 175 K from your bunker, maybe a tiny bit more. You can make a roughly around 612 K from selling special cargo in bulk and about 399 K by selling it solo. So in that time period, you guys could look at making about 475,000 up to $787,000. Don't forget that's with supply included. So I'm taking the fact that you guys spent 75k in supplies at your bunker and you're also buying three crates at once in your special cargo warehouse, which adds up to a fair bit of money, which is why the total profit is so low. You'll actually end up getting paid more, but they don't take supplies into consideration, just so you guys know exactly how much money you're truly going to make. Next up is five hours to seven hours. Now you guys can look at making about 150 to 525k profit from your bunker and 1.37 million from selling cargo in bulk or about 810,000 selling it solo. Now after playing for five to seven hours, you might end up having a full warehouse. Now you could sell all of that for a pure profit of $1.54 million or selling it solo nine crates at a time, 111 crates you have to go through selling it nine crates at a time, you'll profit 883K. You guys can see the difference of how much you can make by selling it in bulk or selling it solo nine crates at a time. You're going to lose out on a ton of money. So if you can, I would highly suggest you try to find someone that can help you so then you guys can sell your crates in bulk and make the most amount of money. The total profit is between $1.08 million up to $2 million. Realistically though, you probably won't play for more than 7 hours and that's a lot of time spent already. And like I said, this is all pure profit after supplies have been purchased. Of course, you guys can make a lot more by stealing supplies for your bunker and buying one crate at once for your special cargo warehouse. But that will take a lot more time and I mean a lot more time. But then you guys would add about another $800,000 to the total profit that you'll make by the end of the day. So you could end up looking at $1.8 to $2.8 million by the end of the day. So in general, it's probably best to buy supplies and it's definitely best to sell your orders in bulk. But if you guys are going to sell your orders in bulk, I would highly suggest you do it in a solo public session. If you're going to do it solo, you don't want to risk somebody coming up to you and just blowing up your unguarded vehicle and you losing out on a lot of money. If you guys do want to see a video on how you guys can make millions of dollars every day AFK in GTA 5, because obviously you're not going to want to play GTA 5 for 7 hours a day. So if you want to do this AFK, you can still make millions. Be sure to drop a like if you guys want to see that video in the future. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to smash a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel. Make sure you have post notifications turned on, and I will catch you guys in the next video.